Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I'll be discussing with all of you the Gironda Side Swing, another really cool Vince Gironda exercise that has very much been forgotten. There is very little information regarding this exercise online, almost none at all, and the demonstrations you can find on YouTube or on other social media platforms is almost always wrong in one way or another. Now, I really like this exercise and I do it a lot. It's very easy to actually do once you get it down, but it needs to be said there are a couple key things you need to know about it. If you just watch any other demonstration online, I guarantee you they will not be as thorough as this. And the reason is because there's not a lot of information on it, and if you don't do it often, you won't really understand it. It's another one of those trial and error exercises and a feel. You have to feel the exercise to know how it's supposed to work. The information I got here today is all from Unleashing the Wild Physique, which you can purchase at NSP's website or at the Iron Guru website, whichever you prefer. I'm a big supporter of NSP, so of course I'm going to endorse them as well. But... I wanted to direct your attention to this photo here of Larry Scott. Now when Larry Scott came to Vince Gironda, he had already won the Mr. Idaho competition and the Mr. California competition. So he was, I guess you could say a seasoned bodybuilder, but he was notoriously narrow. Well, he was admittedly narrow. He knew he was a very narrow man and he needed to build up width in his body. So of course Vince Gironda very much attacked his lower lats to give him and, and his upper lats just thickened his lats overall and his shoulders. And this photo is amazing because you can perfectly see all three heads of his deltoid, how he had built that up and built a very thick and round delt. And there's some photos online available where you can see him hitting a most muscular at the early Olympia competitions, and it's unbelievable. It looks as good as some of the pros nowadays, in my opinion. Although he wasn't as big, he knew how to pose and create that illusion. And the man who taught him that, of course, is the king of creating illusions, and that's Vince Gironda. His posing style very much was tailored to the small man making himself look bigger. And women, too. He was a great women's posing coach because he knew how to make you look larger than you really were. So all these different factors really culminated in making one of the greatest Mr. Olympia physiques ever, in my opinion. He, he is very underrated, and the Gironda side swing very much attribute is attributed to his incredible development in this area. And so in this video, I'm actually going to explain the exercise for you more thorough than pretty much every other video on the internet. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And of course, if you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you. But I hope you enjoy. So because there is so little information about this exercise online, I'm sure a lot of you all are asking, what is the Gironda side swing and why would I ever want to perform it? Well, essentially the Gironda side swing is a modified alternating side raise designed to target the front and medial deltoid. That's the middle deltoid. Not, not so much the rear, the front and medial. And this exercise is designed to both keep constant tension on the deltoid and create a deep contraction in the muscle. And that comes from the swing across your body, which I'll get to in a second. Due to the steady nature of this movement, it effectively eliminates cheating because your knees are supposed to be pretty much locked. Once you get into that stance, your knees are pretty much locked and so are your hips. So you should really only be moving at the shoulders. Of course, there will be a little bit of swing, especially when you start increasing the weight, but you should never really be swinging per se the weight up. More so, you should never be throwing the weight up. It should be in, you should be in control. So that is something I think that a lot of people get wrong. There's a lot of videos online where people are quite literally swinging the weight up. Well, you still want to contract your deltoids, of course. So it is a controlled swing. A word of caution before starting in this exercise as well. Start very light and do not ego lift. So it's a lot like the Gironda neck press. You wouldn't ever want to ego lift on this because, yes, you could definitely hurt yourself. Just keep it slow. Keep the weight relatively light. Be very steady and always be in control of the weight. So to start this lift, you want to begin by grasping two fairly light dumbbells with an overhand grip. Stand with your feet spread apart about shoulder width and place the bells on your thighs. From this point, you will raise your arms simultaneously so that one arm is bent at about 90 degree at about a 90 degree angle and in front of your face 
at the same time, so this is simultaneously, you're doing this at the same time, your other arm will be lifted laterally using your medial deltoid in a similar fashion to the standard Gironda side raise. Now I have not covered that exercise yet, but it is a fairly simple side raise and there's not too much deviation from a standard side raise, but I'll explain it in a second here. This position is what Vince described as the drawn bow position. He mentions that in the Wild Physique, and it is essentially like if you were drawing a bow. If any of you have seen my chest expander video, it is a similar position to doing the, the draw out on the chest expander. It's essentially the same thing. Your hands are ending up in the same position. Of course, it's working a completely different muscle, but it's the same position. At this point, once you have it, both bells at the top, you will return them to your thighs and alternate, alternate your arms following the same pattern described previously. So this is where it acts almost like a swing, quote unquote. You're not swinging the weight up, but in the manner in which you're moving, it, it sort of looks like a swing. But you're not swinging the weight up because you want to contract your, your deltoids quite strongly, in fact. Your palms must always remain down throughout the entire movement. They're never raising up. They're never sideways. They're always facing down. And essentially, if I explain this exercise a little bit more, the arm that is going across your body into your face, it really contracts your front deltoid a lot because of the way you're pulling it in front of you. And it also works to a lesser degree the chest because you're kind of doing a contraction where you're pulling the weight across your body. So it does work your chest a little bit, but it's really meant to focus on the deltoids and keep constant tension on them. So you've got to think when you're swinging through, right, your arms are getting no rest because it's not like they're ever going through a full down position. Both arms are going on a down position on a standard side raise. There is no rest. And so the reps are kept fairly low, uh, eight reps, which is Vince Duranda's normal for most exercises is eight reps and of course you're following this rhythmic swing and as mentioned before always control the weight it's really important Vince Gironda made sure everybody in his gym controlled the weight you didn't have an option you would not ego lift you did not scream in his gym you did the movement you listened to what he said and and you learned you were there to learn and he was your teacher there was no questioning when he had you on a routine he knew what he was doing and that's how you had to understand he would coach you and this picture in the background here if i can get to this really quickly that's actually vince geronda's gym you can't see it too well but that was after it closed in about the year 2005 or 2006. Uh, i didn't take this picture but it's an interesting one and as far as uh why it closed that's a whole different subject matter for another day but in the next slide, I'll actually demonstrate this exercise for you and explain it to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, so this is the Gironda side swing. As you can see, I had the bells to my thighs. My feet are spread shoulder width apart. And I am raising one arm simultaneously as I'm raising the other arm. But one arm is being bent at a 90 degree angle. And my forearm is right in front of my face and pretty high up there too. It's not at the lower part of my face. I'm really bringing those bells up as high as I can. Uh, above parallel even. If you can, a, a little above parallel. Right, right ab above that. And of course, this is fairly lightweight. But you could go up a little bit. You know, I can go up a, quite a bit heavier than this. But this is for demonstration. But regardless, you would never go very heavy on this you would keep the weight definitely lighter than a standard side raise. So whatever you're doing for standard side raise, I would say do about 75% and see how that feels. And depending on if it's too difficult or if it's fairly easy, go up or go down. It just depends on, on your own perception of the lift and how you're feeling about it. Also make sure like I say in all these exercises, that you're not getting any shoulder pain and that your biomechanics allow you to do this exercise safely. I've heard a lot of people say that when they do this exercise, they really only feel it in the front delt. But I don't, I don't know why that is. I feel a great contraction in my front delt, but I also very much feel it in my side delt, especially coming across my body. I feel that quite a lot. I'm, I'm not sure 
where they're getting that from. If you follow the form correctly, you're not swinging the weight up, you're in control of it the whole time, you're very rhythmic and steady, you're not slow with this lift, and your breathing is good and your cadence is good, you're counting everything in your head, I see there being no problem with it, and it feels amazing. It's Of course, it's a Vince Gironda exercise, so he knew what he was talking about with this, and it's a wonderful exercise. It, in combination with the Vince Gironda high pull, I mean, that would be a fantastic shoulder workout right there, supersetting those two, or perhaps incorporating this in a full body workout. There are many ways you could add this exercise to your routine, even if you're not so much committed to a Vince Gironda routine if you just and that's what I'm doing right now is I am incorporating these exercises into my daily routine and because I like to experiment with different routines I'm I'm very much a scholar in this stuff and I like to see what works for me what doesn't and this exercise I've actually done for off and on off and on for about a month or so and I really love it. It's a great exercise. I Especially when I'm doing my at-home workouts, I always include it because you don't need too much weight. And you really get a great pump in your delts. And like I said, a fantastic superset is this exercise and the Gironda High Pull. It really works wonders. I also wanted to talk about this gym just briefly. Uh, this is not Vince Gironda's gym. This is Sigmund Klein's gym. And I think this photo was taken in the 1930s, but I don't remember the exact year. But it was a beautiful gym, and I figured it would be a very nice background in this photo. Now, uh, in this uh, video, that is. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this exercise or anything I talked about today, just let me know in the comment section, of course. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and follow my page if you want to see more like this. So until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.